So a glossary of Greek birds is quite literally a list of all the Greek birds uh, found across ancient myth, um, poetry, plays, uh, written works, um, and like odd snippets of, of ancient literature. It's a pretty dense work, especially considering uh, the three languages that it encompasses and the length of the work. Um, it is absolutely chock full of references. I was actually rolling along um, a little park. Along the way, there was this really nice pond. It was, the sun was going down and the, there were just a whole bunch of swans within the lake. And I looked over, I was like, hey, maybe there's, maybe there's some interesting myths about swans. I would say that uh, within antiquity, swans are very, very prominently featured. Like somewhere on the order of eagles, uh, swans also have a sizable chunk of, uh, of information written about them. Stories about swans. Um, of course, later in the swans, um, you have uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey, which both featured swans within their uh, their poetry. And typically, like they represent like themes of love and fidelity and uh, compassion and beauty. Um, and even now, you can see that. So um, it's not like their their importance within culture has been lessened. In W. B. Yeats's poem. Um, it's not a very long poem. Uh, swans are depicted as this sort of like violent, sexually explosive creature. And when it comes into your mind, you, you definitely don't think about that. Like when you look at antiquity, swans are like, they're, they're all about like sexual power and aggression. You typically just don't think about it like that. Trying to research the birds is, is easy at times since there is so much material, but it's hard because there are so much uh, I, I guess Darcy isn't that end-all source for them, but he is, he is very good when it comes to uh, cataloging them. Darcy's method of cataloging the swans was kind of strange, um, as was most of his entries, at least to me. Instead of like a, a, like a rote sort of entry with a sort of structure, it was more like it flowed more like a story, really. Um, first off, the swans were referenced uh, as Kuknon or Kuklon. He referenced the Greek first. Uh, any quotations that he found, he might put in into the into the Greek as well. Um, like any tangentially related uh, authorities, he'd also slip in there, and. Uh, yeah, it, it really, really read more like a story than like an entry, if I'm being honest. It was, it was interesting. Going through it has increased my knowledge about birds 10,000 fold. 